Hello everybody, so today's video will be 5G WGOOP main event, second chance. So as you see, this will be the one of the crazy ones because everybody is super short over here. Uh, I would um, assume there will be some mistakes when it's short. P typically like high stakes regs don't really focus that much on the... On the like short stack uh, play, as you don't encounter it that much in final tables. But let's see what's happening here. I might be wrong. So Daria opening up Ace Queen O as you should. Uh, Grozerk uh, going to probably fire a three bet. Jamming could be an option here. Yeah, he went to, uh, goes all in. I do think like two point five x makes a lot of sense as well. Uh, yeah, I think I like that more, but like it's probably still going to be fine to jam. Often you will see Ace King O in these type of uh, stacks and stuff. It's like, hey, let's just ship it in the middle type of uh, hand. Not a simple spot for Ace Queen because Crosserg is probably not jamming Ace Jack, right? So you're not getting really the odds. But the way uh, you want to think over here is typically like, hey, is it jamming ace queen? It's not jamming ace jack. Is it jamming ace king? Because if it's ace queen, oh, ace king, oh, and like some bears you can't really call here, which is probably what Crossorg is jamming uh, over here. Could be some like sweet of Broadway, to be fair. I think it's going to end up falling. I think this is a spot where you really want to call off with Ace Queen O. He's thinking also like there is no aces and kings in uh, Grossorg's range. M maybe queens as well. So fold, fold, fold. David Jones. Uh, probably just tripping uh, off with uh, Ace Queen here. You do want to have an on all in range here as well though. And everybody's just gonna fold. Can't really go with check three suited. <laughs> so first place hundred k, ninth place eleven thousand. T beaters with ace nine o. You probably want to open this one. And the idea is you want to open blocker hand. So if you think how everybody else is going to play against uh, these type of spots, nobody really should be calling other than the big blind. Everybody will have a three bet uh, and fold range. So a six having a great blocker will be better. Ooh, D beaters with jacks over here. The Ray Booker is kind of like obviously fine to open. D beaters probably wants to drip an all in here. I don't think you want to jam. Dave Jones eights going to the mock. I think that's good. So everybody folding, should be to kind of give up, just uh, walk area. Pass him to do, not going for it. I think he would have, uh, you would have not, Daria would have not folded the ace 0 there. So ace 0 should probably rip in over here. So this is a spot where the beaters will have a lot of ICM pressure. And offside a6 typically wants wants to rip in. I don't think he's supposed to even have a limping range here. It's just raise, uh, non all in and jam. So I think that's a much of a equilibrium strategy unless he thinks something exploitatively. Going for a limp call, not a big fan of that. TB uh, goes for ISO, which is fine. Uh, doesn't really connect with uh, 9 high, 9 8 4 <clears throat> too much there. Neither, like, neither player really are connecting with uh, that one. Dario Booker going for value. TB uh, needs to probably defend here. You don't really have anything uh, like. You're going to have ace king, ace queen quite often here. And you're not going to have that many 9x, 8x, 4x. You're going to have a little bit, some flush draws, but you do need to defend some high guard hands. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, that's a big boy bet, huh? So if TB Peters doesn't have a 9 or better, then it makes a lot of sense. You just want to size up, you have the best 8. TB Peters has a really tough uh, spot over here, I would say, because Daria Booker like, can have a lot of straight draws that missed over here, like Jack 10, uh, Queen 10, 6-5, 6-7, missed flush draws, some other random hands. So, wouldn't be the end of the world to bluff catch here, I guess? Because uh, so so much uh, missed and it's uh, possible that Daria might be even over bluffing there. David Jones with ace to suited. Mm. That's a close one. Let it go. King Queen for Garin. I uh, think you can go either way as long as you don't fold here. Can jam. Uh, could raise maybe? I think I like to jam the most though. I think anybody is going to find any calls here. It's, it is a 5 gay, so. <laughs> BBC Brief Flop Shards and Trainer. The most effective way to drain and improve your poker skills. Get yours now. So over here, uh, David Jones, not gonna play. Raid a lot. Very hard to see that playing. King Tenno, hmm, probably a fold. There is a pass with a smaller stack, so like to fold from Lena. Pass needs to put it in the middle. Uh, he is the shorter stack, but even if you are the shorter stack, you can see Lena has uh, just like half big blind more, David Jones like few big blinds more. So it's not like you, like you're very close. So you do want to think about uh, other shorties as well. Sometimes you hear like, oh, I'm the shortest one. The ISIM doesn't matter. Like that's not true. That's just not true at all. You, it, ISIM always will matter. A say it's suited. Oof. I'm leaning more towards fold here. But it is uh, kind of close. Raid a lot. A7 suited. Probably you want to raise to Nana in here over here. Uh, it feels a little bit too tight. You still get to play your 10% of hands under the gun here, I would imagine. And yeah, you probably just want to uh, raise that one. Dairy Booker. Kind of aggressive with ace two, so I don't mind it though. Like again, you want to play your blocker hand, so a six over like uh, eight seven suited, so to speak. So it does make a lot of sense to op open that ace two. So probably wouldn't open. It would be like ace three or ace four zero if I had to guess. But does it really matter uh, too much? So. See what Daria doing with 5 3 suited. That would be wild open. Crossorg with ace 2 suited. This one, he needs to open it up. The question over here becomes like, do you want to jam uh, ace 2 suited? Probably fine. Lena with 7 big blinds, pass with 9 big blinds, just max pressure. I don't mind if you, uh, if you would go to non all in over there as well. So, DB there's a 9-8 suited over here. Probably just a muck. You, you want to play very tight these type of spots. Like, you're kind of in the middle of the back. Crozerk, probably just a fold. You want to have a blocker hands over here. Just a blocker hand, like... Suited King X, Suited Ace X. You, you don't want the people to have that. Wow, Ace King Go. That's actually a very uh, sick spot for Ace King Go. Uh... Very likely to be actually a fold here uh, with Ace King Go. David Jones with Pocket Dance. That's a fold after Reno goals. Wow, he hits it on the river, huh? Yeah, I think it's probably a fold uh, for Crossorg. And when Crossorg jams, Reno needs to fold. And in that case, David Jones should be calling uh, over there. We did. Ace 3 0. Again, probably fine. 
hard to see that being much of a mistake. You, again, you want to just have a blocker hands. Uh, against a chip leader, you probably want to go all in here as a David Jones uh, in general. This seems like a lot of like interesting hands, so I will maybe run few. That the eight seven was very interesting. I might run a few of these hands and make a separate videos going through the solutions for these because at like with some of these I'm not hundred uh, percent sure either. Like this, this like this is not a thing. Pocket deuces under the gun, just fold, bro. This is way you lose. Reno having a lot of uh, big blinds like. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of uh, this one. We pocket bench, you probably need to put it in though. Basically, he plays effectively all in, but not all in against uh, uh, the other big stack, right? So it's unlikely that it's going to be Jack's plus for Dariad to play like this. Maybe uh, Ace King O might be there, Ace Queen O. But you should be at worst flipping. I also think you might have a little bit full equity here, to be fair. Very interesting uh, uh, size, uh, sizing choice. Kind of feels like you, why not bet just five so you could fall to Jones jams? I think I would uh, go with pocket tens there. I don't think anybody else can really go ahead and call. This is a crazy ICM stuff. Really crazy ICM stuff here. But yeah, like, just as I'm not a big fan. Cross with Ace-5. Oh, oof. just a fold. Uh, King-4, as I said before, this makes a lot of sense to uh, uh, play very wide. Uh, with the blocker hands, so as a blocker hand, uh, you want to block ace king, kings, uh, king queen type of uh, uh, range. So this makes a lot of sense. I think ace queen o would probably just want to jam, not do none all in here, but not the end of the world. Uh, king four suited, just let it go. Not much you can do there. Ace six o. I think you could. Probably, arguably, f open that one. Queen nine would do. Man, these are so many close spots. I must say, I'm not hundred percent sure. You'd, like, I like that raid a lot. Is jamming into D beaters, who's like in the middle of everybody. So D beaters are not looking to call very wide. Uh, anyways, ah, oh, another thing is whenever the blind levels go up, like you might just want to take this spot because of that. So I guess it's fine-ish. You do want to have more uh, blocker hands though. So Lena is going going to get it in here. There is no other option with uh, Ace Queen suited. I don't think anybody. Grosser probably just have to call here. Ace Eight suited. It's just too, too strong. Both hit the top pair. And Lena takes it down. What a spot for the meters, huh? I don't think you can play here. Jack Hive for... Ooh, Crosser... Uh, <laughs> was about to say uh, Crosser got about to bust, but like I guess not. Raid a lot of Ace Jack suited. Ja jam is fine. Could arguably mean raise as well. Everybody's going to fold uh, against this jam, though. Just been playing very, like conservative in general like where all the like very close spots seems to be uh folded uh by him seems like very icm aware uh person pass pocket fives uh cross circuit with 2.4 like these are like kind of weird ass uh, spots i think he wants to jump into raid a lot speak blind and the idea is raid a lot is not looking to go down to like five big blinds here so yeah, I like the jam. I don't think Raid a lot can call with Ace 3 though. So, great fold. Kind of feels like a blind versus blind spot. Kind of gum. Huh. There is a 2.3 B blind stack, but like. 
Red Lot probably just gonna rip this one in though. Just max pressure Lena, and Lena's gonna call it off. Obviously, it's still bare on the flop. Yeah, with Ace Jack, you just have to call there. Uh, unlikely you get to go that tight uh, with the fault to start folding uh, that high up. Terry Booker can open this one, I uh, imagine. So, only really going to be challenged if uh, other big stack is going to 3 bet you a lot. I guess I don't hate the fold because two big two stacks two big blind. David Jones can definitely three bet none all in here, but uh, that would be still still like some type of a mix. I don't think you always want to three bet with like your offset hands, and often if you look at solver, it's always going to be like some type of a mix to a fold as well. So Lena goes for five four zero jam pocket jacks call. And Lena does not win that. Probably do lose, but like, it's hard to say with two big blind stacks. I I'm telling you guys, we're going to run some hands for uh, for uh, this one. We're going to run some hands. Very interesting, like two big blind, <laughs> one big blind spots. Like, you don't really study exactly these, bli uh, these blinds. Unless you play sit and goes in that case, sure. Yeah, you you, you are going to do it. Red lot taking, taking this one with King 9-0 seems a little bit like art to say like it's fucking two big lines right i'm not 100 percent sure man kind of feels a little bit loose because you're not like the, the problem is you don't need that much bot odds but it's kind of weird i'm not a big fan of the big blind uh, jack 5 out goal here you're not supposed to be defending against the uh, open to begin with now going multi-way with jack 5 0 like doesn't really make sense i guess uh why the reason why he calls is he he thinks there won't be that many like buffing him off of the hand so he realizes his equity way more often uh with no basically no side side pot but still i'm not that big of a fan of that defend and we lose raid a lot yeah i i think i would have let it go king nine Ooh, cross orc. <laughs> Good luck, bro. He pro like equilibrium would probably say you just have to go here with Queen Seven suited. I don't fault him if he chooses not to, but like you probably just have to. But it's going to be very interesting for Garin here. It's just clicking a call. What will D beaters do? Like, what is this nine three suited? Like, I don't understand that. Doubt it's much of the. I guess you could think the beaters are not going to like jam much. Like D, I think the beaters definitely wants to jam once uh, nine three suited call happens, and we lose Grozork. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of uh, such a wide uh, calls. Like I have not checked on solutions with two big clients very, like too much, but like very difficult to see that being much of a thing. King 8 uh can go either way here. I think I would prefer raising uh, this one, to be fair. There will be some uh, raising happening uh, uh, at 18 big lines here. So, limp call, I guess? Or like, uh, check call? Hmm, that's fine. Bucket Queens, uh, you want to just mid-raise this one? Hard to see the jamming being uh, the play here. Typically, we like jamming might be mixed into a play, but typically, like Queens plus Ace King Suite just wants to play as a min-raise, and you build like a bluffing range or like stealing range with, uh, uh, with that as well. So you kind of opening very polarized range. Let's say queens plus ace king suited, maybe jacks a little bit ace queen suited here and there. So especially from uh, low jack, could even open probably a little bit more. Just you just fall here. It does cover, but like seven five oh just trash. 
uh, in ISIM uh, scenarios. King check O, you probably still want to open that. It's just a good blocker hand to open. I don't fault to a fault though. I, I don't think it matters too much. King nine, Sweden, you, you're the shortest. Go all in. Terry Booker kind of in a weird spot with King Queen O though. I, I'm going to assume he's just going to call here. Just based, based how he's been playing. I don't mind the fault though. Everybody else will pull Polto. Yeah, I, I I guess you have to call with your stack there, right? It's it's a little bit di difficult. Five, six, six peak line, basically. Yeah, I guess you have to call. You should be doing fine. Hmm. I'm just thinking if uh, Bass's range is so tight that you can get away, so to speak, uh, from uh, from not calling. But Bass is just... He will still jam all the sex and stuff. You should get decent equity there. Only thing is, like, you're a hijack, so there are uh, four players behind you, so that is, like, the problematic part. So so over here with King9, you're just trying to check down. You are not trying to do uh, much. Could arguably try and bluff jam this, I guess, but like you're not gonna get the falls you need, I guess. No bear is going to fold. Maybe you get fold from like a eight that might have called or something. King Jack. It's interesting if Daria jams. I don't actually think you can call here with King Nine Suited. So you don't beat anything. Like there is like. Unless he calls like King Jack, like I guess he can call with King Jack Sweden. Like in general, King Jack, you don't beat anything else than King Jack. Like you don't beat King Jack, right? He doesn't have anything worse. So if he if Daria doesn't have anything worse, it's just a mock, right? Like what is the Daria calling that is not ahead of King Nine there? Nothing. Queen, yeah, like Jack Ten. Is he calling Jack Ten? Also, that would be just Sweden. What? Like, that's a fault. You, you, you dead. Like, King Nine is dead here. Yes, it's the one point two peak peak line to call, but like, you don't beat even bluffs, bro. You need to beat bluffs. So King Nine is an air, and you can fall there, right? Same if you had like a uh, five high there. Doesn't really matter. King Four O, up to him. These are like in Solver, it would probably just uh, click it in. But if you choose, if you choose to just fall, take your big blind all in, doesn't really matter. Lena's gonna put it in the middle. Karen should fold this one. So with the A three, you probably just want to not play this one again. Uh, Ron, Ronin, Ronin. He's uh, still covers you. He can like uh, trip at you. Even do you pretty much the same stack. Uh, guess it doesn't matter. Like a Asex is just better open than like any Sweden stuff at this point. Like H three O, I would probably try to open that one there. You do cover everybody. Darien's small blind. It does have queens over here, but in general, if uh, big stack is on a small blind. He's way more challenged to defend, and everybody needs to play pretty much push and fall. So, Terry will probably go all in. Uh, I think if you look at the equilibrium, you can see there is like some non all. If you allow like clicking stuff when like three big blind, 3.5 big blind stuff, you could see that coming in. But for the most part, it's just like I don't really mind going this with idea you never fall into Lena. But if TB Dreams and Lena both will get in, then the bottom of your uh, so to speak jamming range can actually get away, uh, get away. So that could make sense. So. Ooh, Garin with 9-8 Sweden, huh? Probably just let it go. Based on how Daria plays, he's going to open this one, right? Which is good. Like, it's Sweden King X. Dividers can go non all in, but I think you mostly want to go all in uh, over here. So it's all in, all in, and fold. 
who knows, maybe he's fully engaged King Sweden, huh? Hard to see, hard to see. You should not fault that. Oi, oi. <laughs> but, uh, sweaty run out, huh? <laughs> Dari Boker chooses, you probably just should let let those go. Dividers can can see an open here. Uh nine seven suited uh, will probably mostly want to jam. There could be some mixing into an anonym, but like it's with these stacks you probably just want to uh, at this point just go all in. A7-0 uh, goes for, he will steal. It's nice. Everybody else will fold. What else can you really do if you have some trash? Or D beaters might think like, hey, <laughs> it's time to stop Dari, eh? Lena can't uh, really defend uh, that far down. So just a fold. King 9 suited, another open. Interesting spot. Uh, for running, you could fire a non all in three bet over here if he wishes to. I think he will, though. He's been playing very, like, solid. Probably don't want to do it with uh, Ace 9 0, though. Like, Ace 5 0 makes more sense. You kind of don't want to block 9x uh, opens from uh, under the gun. A6, so you probably want to let it go because uh, you're opening into Darius' big blind. Wouldn't be the, the end of the world to open, though. Lena's gonna go all in here. And we're gonna get two folds. Why is Lena thinking of Jack 3 suited? <laughs> Garris Pro uh, has to put it in here. And I don't think anybody can call. Interesting spot for Garin over here. I don't mind an open here. I think you still want to open. Even though there is like short stacks, you probably still want to do some stealing and offsuit A6 are way to go. I would probably not jam, just not all in. Build range, again, you want to build the range with like Queen's plus, maybe Jack's plus, Ace King suited, maybe Ace Queen suited. Uh, in some solves you will see also the, the small mixes in Dens, Ace Jack suited, stuff like that. TB is probably fine to open this one. I think you want to jam. <laughs> as soon as I'm going to say, I think he wants to jam 13 big lines. It might be the blade though. It might be the blade though. Just, I don't think so. <coughs> As I said, there's a lot of like very short, uh, short stacks and stuff. It's like not that simple to, uh, to navigate through the, all of this uh, whenever you play, especially. Why is he thinking with King 4 0? That doesn't make sense. Uh, you don't need to call here. Just seems to be playing very well. Wow. <laughs> TV just gets there. What do I know? You just go all in and win. That's how you win tournaments, guys. It's probably fine, though. Again, I don't have all the solutions uh, next to me. Or, like, to look it all up right now, but I will make a video or two about some of these spots because it's like some crazy spots where it's just interesting to know these things uh, in general. It doesn't come up that often. You don't really end up like you don't have that many tournaments unless you play sit and goes or like a very like short format poker, right? So D beaters opens under the gun. It's fine. She's supposed to. Terry Boker, decent defend. If you think D beaters is out of line, you might uh, might actually want to jam Jack Nine. So I don't think D beaters will be out of line here though, because of uh, Lena and Karen stacks. So D beaters goes for a small C bet. It's fine. Uh, Terry Booker should probably let it go. 
It does do a check raise, though. Kind of sucks for the beaters. Chip PV, you would have to defend here. <laughs> Guess in ICM might be the same. Very interesting to see if Daria is going to follow it through now. It's such a leg. In high stakes, people often do that. Oh, I check raise you. Oh, I bet small. It doesn't really make that much sense to bet small. Actually, over here, it does a uh, make a little bit sense to bet small. And the whole idea is like, four kind of connects with some of your bluffs. So you, you, you kind of, and this PR is already kind of small. But if you have like really like ace queen, king queen, like it's basically a queen X, you kind of want to, it's like you kind of would like to get it in, so to speak. This is just such a weird blocker bet here. I guess you would do it with a que uh, queen as well. Actually, I'm not really sure. Hmm. I would be very tempted to jam uh, a6 as a bluff here. I guess it's not the best combo because you kind of want Daria to have a 6 over here. But I do feel like Daria's line... Does make sense, but like from some perspective, might not make really that much sense. So kudos to D beaters. Very nice bluff there. I'm just not sure you want to choose a 6x. The problem over there is what else can you really have other than a6, right? Like you can't really have much, uh, much uh, else there. Because if you have ace king, you, you, you're doing fine. So over here with forge, you probably want to limp this one. So whenever the stacks are this close, dirty, it's basically dirty, dirty. So uh, you will have a little bit raises, but not that much. Because like if you look at all the other stacks, as a, from D beaters uh, perspective, you're not really interested in like bl playing a big bot against a uh, big blind over here or other big stack. That being said, he might. Uh, I think this is going to be a limp call. So typically in GP, you would see a lot of like limp jams over here. But the idea in ISM is it's going to be a lot more polarized range for imposition player in these spots. So pocket force will actually do kind of poorly against uh, the calls, and for that reason, you kind of like to play limp call uh, calls way more with small bucket pair. Interesting card to lead over here for the beaters. It definitely connects with uh, the next. Questionable if imposition players should bet the uh, next, uh, or like to what extent people will bet the next, right? But the beaters definitely connects with the next, should connect with hearts. So, not the worst card to go ahead and lead as a D beaters on the turn there. Mm, I guess at this point, the beaters will just try to check it down. Uh, Get it to the showdown. He's gonna going to have ace highs to bluff here, and some like king queen, and he will win sometimes against the uh, ace highs and pocket uh, pair of trees. Not much laying I can do over there. Maybe just needs to open this one. I think you want to jam though. You probably will end up having a small jamming range here, maybe. But like, if you th if you think about the flow, how uh, Ronin has played so far, has not really like done anything. I don't think he had really that many like cards to do. But especially if you play, you kind of feel like, hey, this guy is not really like leveraging his big stack you're like eh, maybe i can get away opening a little bit even wider here but with king queen obviously that's like a standard open there but just like talking about the flow flow of the game so to speak uh uh you definitely want to take this into consideration even though like he running didn't have any hand like didn't really have a spot where he should be doing much right it's still like kind of like eh could be doing uh or like for other players as they play it might say like hey he's not really doing anything for daria just open here i think i think you want to jam 
Not the end of the world to ha to jam here though. You think you just want to raise, raise call? Let's see what he does with Kings though. Does open? It's nice. <laughs> Would be pretty terrible to jam Kings there. So DB is going to open up fuck tent. I don't think anybody can play. Uh, Darien might play uh, his big plan though. Uh, but it's not, not going to be a uh, thing. Like, if you run this spot, it's very unlikely to be a defend here. At least in GTO. <laughs> BBC Brief Flop Shards and Trainer. The most effective way to train and improve your poker skills. Get yours now. Tearing a loop. I don't mind a little bit raising it here with King uh, for uh, O either. I think the beaters want to read it. Like, I guess he's uh, thinking about going all in, maybe. I think he, like, you don't want to raise fall queen jacks uh, suited here, right? So because you don't want to raise fall, you don't really want to iso other than like maybe go all in. Or if you want to iso and like call off the jam, which I don't think you want to do with queen jack. If you just can uh, fire a bluff here, he can check. I don't think it matters too much. Like you're probably supposed to be mostly checking and a little bit uh, uh, betting. If Tyre, Tyre checks here. I would be very... I think you're kind of in the similar spot as on a flop, but I do think you might want to lean more towards a bet here with two overs. I don't think then, like, you do see then and think, hey, then is like a... Like a over guard, scary, scary, scary. But whenever people would have a 10 over here, it would be like 10-7, 10-8, jack-10, queen-10, right? In that case, it's like those hands would bet quite often previously. So you could make argument like, eh, it doesn't really matter that much, the 10 exactly. Uh, but, I, but I think a uh, fair uh, showdown uh, for play, uh, both players. At 25 B plans, uh, so typically whenever you're covered, you don't really want to have much of a raising range. But at 25 B plans, you will start seeing a little bit raising for small blind coming in, or like a little bit more raising coming in. I do think the mostly you still want to probably limp. So limp, check, check, check. As an in position player at this point, you probably want to bet your seven. I would bet bigger though. I, I guess it doesn't really matter because there is basically five is a straight. You could also jet back though. I think it's always going to be a bet, but should bet quite frequently, I think. It's going to open this based on how he played. I actually think he's, you should be probably opening this. Like, I think you just want to min raise though. Like, I haven't really checked on uh, these stack depths, like if the 2.5x is how much is a thing or something. But typically, you just want to min raise. Uh, the, I'm not a big fan of, so to speak, jamming. You can bet small, get the extra value from whatever like Lena might have not put in. Because if Lena has a strong hand, he's going to put it in, right? So. You just want to charge that other like like very very bottom so bet one type of thing makes a lot more sense to me. But it doesn't really matter, I guess. King five suited, pretty normal jam. You are the shortest stack, nothing like there is still ISM for the short stack here, but because there is no like anybody close, now you want to be like, eh, I need chips kind of a state. Uh check. Hmm? some folding so can get another blind versus blind over here tb just probably just limping again i don't mind the raise as i said before i think he's probably supposed to be raising a little bit two three suited so as an imposition player you 
Do you get to isolate a little bit bottom of your suited hands? I'm not sure about two, three suited. It's typically like eight, two, six, two, six, three type of uh, stuff. But for the most part, you want to, you want to not isolate. You just want to check back, but they do mix in. So another check down spot. Uh, the meter's going to probably bot it here, I imagine. Maybe two weak points. So in these type of spots, you want to play kind of... Oh, I overbet. That's nice. You kind of want to play typically pretty straightforward. If he checks again, you can check if you think your opponent is going to find the bluffs, bluffing frequency, right? So this one will go in. 7-4. Let's move on with this one. And Garin doubles up. Going going back there, like if you don't think in position player will find enough bluffs, even equilibrium bluffs, you're not supposed to be really checking uh, Jack Deno. As like, doesn't really make sense, right? If you check and trap, you kind of want your opponent to bluff. If you never bluff, you don't really do that. A seven zero over here, open uh, by D beaters, and we see bucket eights to go all in, which is normal ha normal way to play the hand. King eight zero. Oh. Probably just a fold. This would be uh, probably opening a little bit too much. Uh, everybody are kind of kind the same. So typically people might look like, hey, Garin is the shorter stack, and like this, like the beaters is the chip leader. But like, if you look at this this type of like uh, stack distribution, it's actually pretty much the same. It doesn't really matter too much, to be fair. People do think like, hey, I'm this po uh, position or that position. It's just like, Gar Garen is playing 18 big blinds, Steve Eaters is playing 25 big blinds. Like, it's not that much different, actually. Like, obviously, because of the stack depth, it's going to be slightly different strategies. And Steve Eaters gets to uh, pressure everybody a little bit more. But for the most part, it's like, eh, it's kind of similar stacks. So the stack EVs will be kind of similar. That's why it's like doesn't really matter that much. Uh, ten five suited. Give up, like that. Puck deuces should probably let it go. Nice, let it go. TV just probably wants to. I could see him jamming here, or limping. I think he wants to raise. The problem with raising is you can call against the uh, jams. Or three bets. Big blind can check it back or jam. If he thinks uh, the beaters will go like deuces through fives to limp jam or like ace two so, could go for a non all in. I don't mind the check back there either. You do see that also happening. I don't mind the limp over here. Jam. Oof. I think you get to follow this ace, ace jacks with it here. Oof, what a flop. Nope. No diamond this time. GG's. Fourth place for 42,000, hey? Not a bad day. Then again, if you play high stakes poker, 42,000 on a Sunday, probably just like not even breaking, even if you played like all the 10 games and 25 games. <laughs> but hey, still a nice score. So, some limp pot over here. Daria Booker, uh, it's interesting on this type of spots. So, if either player had an ace, it's very likely they raise or go all in pre flop, right? So, ace x and king x are like a little bit discounted on these type of lines uh, to play. So, this like have a little bit more un unique. Uh, unique uh, way you're going to play because there is just discounted uh, ace x in both players range and some of the king x oh it is they should probably it's very likely they both will have still ace x in their range or like at least they should so Darry booker is trying to get the uh, db beaters to bluff over here it's probably because he thinks uh db beaters just don't have much which which is very obvious that he really doesn't not even looking at the hand, but like 
he can't really bet much because he don't have that much value. So his uh, most of the, his range is going to be very weak in general. Divider's over here limp. I don't mind letting it go here. Yeah, I think letting it go there is a good decision. Divider's folds queen four zero, I believe. That was such a quick fold though. Uh. Running so whenever you cover people, there will be limping range over here. But you do want to pressure them quite a bit by raising uh, in these type of spots. So ten six zero makes a lot of sense to raise. I don't mind the limp though. Nine do so. I'm not a, that big like with off suite two six. I don't think you're going to see that much uh, isolating there uh, as much. But I don't hate it. TB there's probably goes for ISO as well here. Again, these like offsuit hands, they're very often just a mix. So often people are like, oh, I need to ISO here. It's a good spot to put some pressure on. But you also need to check them back sometimes, as we see TB there's uh, really uh, doing here. He, he plays very well. Like based on this final level, he have played very well. So Diary Booker with pocket fives. I think you book five. You probably want to just rip, uh, go all in brief, uh, brief flop. Uh, if he thinks D beaters is out of line to isolate too much, then it makes a lot of sense for to take your bucket fives and go put it in the limping range, hoping D beaters are out of line so you can basically limp jam and uh, pick up some extra money because D beaters are is going to be too wide with isolating, uh, isolate bluffing. Interesting for D-beaters. Uh, he needs to bluff here sometimes, but again, because your range will be very weak and low card uh, hands often, and like if you had very like a va value type of a hand in a previous street, you're often uh, going to bet. So you you end up in a kind of weird ass spot where you kind of want to uh, you sh you really need to give up, but it's like ah, I really want to bet. So this is just unfortunate for D-beaters. Ace ten against Ace King blinders blind. Nothing really you can do. GG's for 53, 6,000. So a little heads up battle over here incoming. Ronin and Daria Booker. Ronin goes all in. Buddy. GL Jill. Are they going to deal? No. I, th I think uh, uh, Gully Booker, by the way. That's where the, uh, this uh, replay comes from. You guys should go and check him out. His channel out. Uh, I think when the deal is, they will. Uh, he's like marking it as it was a deal there. So sneaky, sneaky, a squino limp. So with ace high, uh, you're just trying to hit the showdown. Uh, Running probably just going to go ahead and bluff here. This sizing is a little bit small, a little bit small. If you had a den, you would bet bigger. I kind of feel. If you had a nine, you would bet bigger, right? So doesn't really make that much sense to just half bot it. You kind of kind of feels like you would want to bet like at least like sixty six percent of the bot, possibly mix it with over bets if you have a den. So not that big of a fan of the half bot size, but like if some some people just use half bot, like you click buttons twenty five percent half bot bot and like over bet. So if that's like his medium size, I just think in general it's probably a little bit uh, too small. I think in heads up you probably should be using like seventy percent or seventy five percent. I remember heads up friend of mine gave me a bunch of sims and they were all like seventy percent bets on the flop and turns. Like 70 and 33, so to speak. So another limp spot. Terry Booker will... Yeah, like, that's fine. King 7 just calls. Ooh. But players have a flush draw. On a heart, I would assume this will be all over. I mean, like, there's no way you get away heads up, flush versus flush. So... Derry Booker sizes up over here. Still a lot of bluffs, uh, like 5, 4, 6, 4, 9, 8. Uh, like so many bluffs for Derry Booker. King is a very interesting card here. If I'm Derry Booker, I'm thinking like, what King running can really have other than like flush draws? That like with a heart and bear 
oh ggs yeah like there just goes all in over there just uh, for the fact like uh auto position player just shouldn't have a gingex uh over there right because like you don't really have just like flush drawing highs what you floated the flop and like called the turn now right so for him the next just uh jams for value there and ggs uh do run in for winning 100k gg daria for 75k score if you guys want to see more of this click subscribe button and i'll see you on the next one cheers